Hello kids, I am Kuya Evan. Today, we will continue our story about Noah and his family. Noah built a big ark and God sent a flood on the earth. Noah and his family, along with two of every kind of animals, had been in a boat that kept them safe from the flood. Aside from listening to a story, we will also worship the Lord. We will dance. We will have a power verse and a quiz time. But before that, let us begin with a prayer. Let us put our hands together, close our eyes, bow down our head, and let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. Help us, Lord, that we will listen and understand your word. Guide us, Lord, as we have our King's Kids Church today. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, kids! Are you ready to praise Jesus?
Continuation of our story. What was the story all about? Wow, that is right. It's Noah and the Ark. Now let us have a brief recap. Then the day came when God spoke to Noah. Take your family into the ark. For I am going to send rain upon the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. The earth will be destroyed. Noah listened and took his family into the ark. People thought they were crazy. No rain had come and they were already inside the giant boat but just as god promised the rain began to fall from the sky and the earth began to flood noah and his family were protected because noah obeyed god even when it was so hard God sent a flood to the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. Noah and his family, along with two of every kind of animal, had been in the boat that kept them safe from the flood. Can you imagine being in that boat with all those animals? Hmm. Well, after a long, long wait, the flood was finally over. God caused the ark to rest upon the top of Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat was a really tall mountain. Not too far where Noah and his family had started. I am sure that they were all excited to finally get out of the boat. But when they opened the door of the boat, they noticed that the ground was not completely dry. That is when God said, Okay Noah, it's time for you, your family, and the animals to come out. God began to speak to Noah and tell him that he was going to bless him and that he was going to make him the ruler over all the animals of the land and the sea. Wow! What happened next was amazing. Noah and his family looked up to the sky and they saw a huge rainbow that stretched across the sky. Then God told Noah, I am putting the rainbow in the sky as a sign that I will never again destroy the earth with a flood. Every time it rains, I will look at the rainbow and remember my promise. Noah and his family continued to worship God. They worship God because of his faithfulness during the flood and of his blessings and promises after the flood. As an application, God has many promises to us in the Bible. When the storm is over, 
remember that God said, I will never leave you. You are never alone in your storm. Oh, storms in our lives. It comes and it goes, but God stays the same. He promises to give us the strength that we need to survive the storm. Well, he did it for Noah. He can also do it for you. Some of you have recently come through the storm. You know what you need to do? Yes, you need to worship God with all of your heart. God is worthy. God is awesome. Let's worship Him together. It's quiz time! Are you excited, kids? Let's see if you learned something from our story today. Question number one. How many days and nights did it train? A. One year. B. Three days and nights. Letter C. Forty days and nights. The correct answer is letter C. Forty days and nights. Question number two. True or false? Noah disobeyed God. Letter A. True. Letter B. False. The correct answer is letter B. False. Question number three. What was the first thing Noah did when he got off the ark? Letter A. He built an altar and worshipped God. Letter B. He took a nap. Or letter C. He started a zoo. Correct answer is letter A. He built an altar and worshiped God. Yay! Question number four. What did God put in the sky to make a promise to Noah? Letter A. The sun. Letter B. A rainbow. Or letter C. A giant cloud. Answer is letter B, a rainbow. Yay! Question number five. Where was our power verse found? Letter A, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 4. Letter B, Noah chapter 3 verse 16. Or letter C, Isaac chapter 5 verse 14 The correct answer is letter A Isaiah chapter 25 verse 4 Good job kids you did well very good Hi, I'm Lailis and this is my drawing of a rainbow and my favorite color of the rainbow is red. My name is Kylie Joy Lou. My favorite color in this rainbow is color orange. Hi, my name is Zion. This is my drawing of a rainbow. My favorite rainbow color is yellow because it's bright 
and it makes me happy. My name is Ray Andre M. Carpentero and this is my drawing of a rainbow and this is my favorite color, green. Yay! My name is Lee Christian Wardamo and this is a picture of a rainbow and my favorite color in the rainbow is indigo. Hi! My name is Lisa Rain and this is my drawing of a rainbow and my favorite rainbow color is violet. <laughs> Have you learned a lot today? Wow, me too. I have learned a lot today and I am very excited to apply my learning. Now I would like to invite you again for more fun learning only at King Kids. Now this time, we will pray so that we will be able to apply everything that we have learned. Let us pray. Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for what I have learned from the story of Noah and the ark. I pray that I will be just like Noah, who's obedient with your word no matter what storm comes my way. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching, kids. See you on our next Online Kings Kids. God bless you. Bye-bye.